What book is this? This is a Sai International Translation. This is, this is literally a fake book. The person that you got this book from is incorrect. You have okay, Sai International is incorrect. This is very false. Ma'am, yes. do you think is it alright yes. husband to beat the wife? Do husband beat his wife? Do you no, think it's alright? Quran does not say husband can beat his wife. Quran does not say that. What do you think about this gentleman? I don't know him. No, no. What does he look like? He looks like a normal person. He looks like a normal person. And he's actually, I can say he's very handsome. He's a normal person. He's very handsome. And he looks like your grandfather. That The ones that you want to go and, I don't know, have hot chocolate together. A Mr. Muslim decided to stop him 12 times on Friday. How do you know that? How do I know that? Because it's all over the video, all over the internet. That's all over the internet. So how, when you, what you see in the internet, you straight away believe without finding evidence or trying to... So you believe it didn't happen? I'm not, I'm not seeing it, didn't no, I? Okay, so, how, how do okay, so if, you see, if you don't see something happen, you don't believe that happened? I can't believe it. Okay. Were you, were you with Muhammad when Muhammad received the revelation? Yeah, he received it from so, the angel. No, 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 you weren't there, how do you know? Huh? You weren't there, how do you know? Because it's been said in the Quran. Oh, it's, it's, it's been proven on Friday through videos and through the testimony of the people. Salman Rushdie is being attacked in the intention of to be killed. No, what you're doing? And that was only two days ago. Okay. Yet, you haven't seen what happened 1,400 years ago. You believe by the people you didn't see, you don't know. It you doesn't know. make sense to me. No, no, what I'm telling you is this. When, like, you said now this man, he was killed by a Muslim person. He's not been that's killed. What, he's been stopped 12 okay, times. He's still yes. alive. He's in hospital. Okay, if he's alive, he's alive. He's, like, he got stabbed 12 times. That person that's been stabbed, like, you don't, like, you know it's from a source. But a Muslim, that's only one person. You can't equate it to every Muslim. So it is not you Islamic. Say, you can't judge one religion so, because of one person. Okay. It's like me saying, uh, what is your name? Killed a Muslim. What is Am your I going to judge? Am what I is your name? Ahmed. Ahmed. I'll ask you something else then. Um, no, no, no. I, I, I hear your point. Let me just respond something to you. I wouldn't kill people. No, I wouldn't kill people. Can you read? Can you read this this chapter for me? What book is this? Can I see the front page? I want you to read a couple of verses from this book for me. So this is the guy who has been attacked on Sunday. One of on Friday, his book, okay? Okay, can you can you read let's say from here on it's only a couple of verses anyway, can you just read read this chapters for us? Read it loud? I'll, I'll read it in my head. I'll start from here and then you pick it up. The people are sunk in darkness, says Bill, unhappily. But they will see, they will hear, God is one. Misery in facts of four of them. Even Hamza is brought low. Mahul had been shaken and his followers quick. Continue to read it for me. Yeah, from where can you point? He stands, bows, signs, comes, rejoin, to rejoin them. Listen to me, all of you, he says, putting one arm around Bilal's shoulder. Who's Bilal? Uh, this is just a novel. It's a novel. Yeah, just a fake. novel. So this is fiction? Yeah, yeah, What's novel. the point of it? No, no, I want you to read it. If it's fiction, then there's no truth. Yeah, yeah, just read it. Call it interrupts, interrupts bitterly. It is temp uh, tempting deal. The others look horrified. Hamza speaks very gentle to water carrier. 
wasn't it you, Khalid, who wanted to fight me? So Khalid and Bella are trying to fight each other. Just yeah, just read. This is just a novel. Just read it, read it, and then we talk about. Messenger, messages, a man. I really call him a weakling. Now what, my, uh, my, what is I say? My hound begs for peace. If we quarrel, there is no hope. He tries to raise discussion to the theological level. It is not suggested that Allah accepts the three, the three as his equals, not even last. Like devils, Bilal best out. No sermon. The person gets the points like Archangel, the Grand is a clever man, Angels and Devils, the uh, uh, the Satan and Gabriel. We already accept the existing halfway between God and uh, man, Abu Siva, as um, that we admit just three more to this great company, just three, uh, and uh, indicates all uh, Jahila's souls will, our, uh, will be ours. Is that just co yeah, continue to read it. And the house will be cleansed of status. Solomon asks around, replies that will uh, not specify some shapes, says, but this is the being done to destroy you. And Bella as God, as you say uh, last month, Uzzah, they are all females. For pity's sake, are we to have gone this now? Those odd queens, herons have. So I read the last paragraph again, okay? And the house will be cleansed of the statues. Salman asked. Mahut replied that this is this was not specified. Salman shakes his head. This is being done to destroy you. And Bilal edited. God cannot be poor. And Khalid closed to tears. Messenger, that are you saying? Not Manat Uzra? They are all females? For pity's sake. Are we to have goddesses now? Those old cranes, herons, and hawks. Okay? So, so far, you just read one, two, three, four paragraphs. Do you have any problem with it? No, no it's a novel. It's, it's a, a novel. It's yeah. A book. It's a novel fiction. Okay? Do you think anyone should be killed simply writing this book? It's, a, it's offensive. What is it's it offensive? offensive? to mu the Muslim community. What is it offensive? Because you're using Muslim names as, uh, and you're describing them as bad people, which gives bad so influence. So who, who was bad people? You're giving, you're making Muslim people like names sound bad and you're putting bad and shame upon so, the community. Give, give me an example. You the paragraph you read, no. the paragraph you what read, you where you understood Muslim people are bad. You're, you're disrespecting the uh, you're disrespecting Islam. How? Because you're using their names and uh, using and putting bad uh, stuff against where, them. Where are you from? Somalia. Somalia. I am from Turkey. Okay. I grew up by reading the books. And in our books, you read the books. Name of Muhammad has been mentioned. Name of Ali has been mentioned. Muslim names are mentioned in the books. That doesn't mean. Someone is spreading hate against Names in the and using it for bad. You're making it sound bad against the person. How? Imagine, imagine some Muslim person was here and he read that book. You'd find it offensive because imagine that. You read it. There. You read it. You didn't find it offensive at the first. Now you are trying to justify why you find it offensive. What is it about it offensive? I just I repeat it three times. Are you deaf? Are I'm you deaf? I, I'm struggling to understand. Yes, I'm struggling to understand. Do it again. As you said, it's because uh, you have mu there's Muslim names. It's offensive to the Muslim community because you better listen carefully because I'm not going to repeat myself again. It's offensive because imagine a person's name was called Hansen or Muhammad was in this book, and then you say, or oh, oh, they abuse women, it was saying females, and it was saying, oh, this person killed this person, or this person did hatred and uh, done towards the other person. How is that going to make that person feel? It's going to make that person feel like ashamed and like offend, offended. Is it not? Yes, so or no. Therefore, yes or no. So therefore, because people are being offend, offended by their names to be used, um, that's offensive. Yes, it is. Okay. So, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Uh, so, I guess you would disagree for someone to be physically hurt because writing this book? Who, no one gave consent to use those names. Who gave consent to use those names? No one. Exactly. So, you don't, so, you don't need, so, you don't need a consent to use a name in your book. My question was, 
Would you justify? You're not answering my question. I said, would you justify? No, you see, Why you would you justify you for to someone to be field? killed because of the using was, those names? You said he wasn't killed. He's still alive. So no, no, no. I am asking. Would you justify someone to be killed because no. of? No, you wouldn't. Would you justify someone to be physically hurt? No. Okay. Well, that's one person. You're acquitting one person for the whole of Islam. You can't just judge. It's me saying a Christian person used um, uh, I, um, a Christian person used another um, Jewish name, and then that Christian uh, um, got killed because of that. Is, is that fair? That's not, you, that means you'll go for uh, Jewish people, isn't it? So do you know? That's not fair. Do you know what is satanic verses? Is that a satanic verse? No, 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 I'm asking, do you know what is satanic verses? I wouldn't know because I don't read that. Why would I read the satanic verse? Okay. That's against any exactly. It's against every religion. You can't tell satanic me. Satanic verses are against every religion. It's every religion. Who believes in Satan? Do you believe in Satan? No. Muhammad believed the Satan. He had his own Satan. Uh, exactly. As a god. Muhammad believed uh, Muhammad had his own Satan. So Surah 53? Surah 53, verse 19. Quran. This is English translation. Which translation? By who? What's this? By who? By who? Who wrote this book? See, look at the front pages of the book. Who is it translated by? By who? So, this is okay. Okay. Surah 53, verse 19. Okay? So, in the book, in the book, you read Lot, Uzra, and Manat. Do you remember? You read the page I showed it to you? And then they were identified as the claim. So, here's a similar verse. He certainly saw the greatest sign of his Lord. So, have you considered Elad and El Uzra and El Manad, the third, the other one? Uh, I didn't hear what you said. Your voice is kind of low. Are you Can you read it? It says so it's standard Quran. Sorry. It's not saying, this is not even the right surah. I know the translation, but it's, it's not right. That's how I know. It's what, what it's supposed to be? It's not right. Because what, that what's surah, supposed to be? What is it not right in this? The surah. That's not the standard Quran. It doesn't like this. Like, what book is this? This is a international translation. This, this is literally a fake book. The person that you got this book from is incorrect. You have okay, Sahih International is incorrect. This is very false. Like, if what you, is it false about? If someone's to give you, what is it false about? If someone's to give you a proper Quran and the exact translation, this will be completely different. Okay. Whatever you read from I've this got, book, I've is got, fake. Okay. So Sahih International translation is fake. I've got Yusuf Ali. Would you follow Yusuf Ali translation? Yeah. Which one? Abdullah Yusuf Ali. Uh, I have to go anyway. Right, right now. And then Arabic is on the side as well, so you can read it from Arabic and then tell me what it's supposed to be. Surah 53. Verse 18 and 19 and 20. Can you read it for me? Maybe read it in Arabic so that you don't tell this Quran is fake. For truly did he see of the signs of his Lord the greatest. What, what's wrong with that? Read it. And then after he says, Have you seen late? Can you bring the other book out so I can compare? No, I just wanted to read English. Yeah, no, I want to compare the book. So you already identified that book as fake. Ignore that one. Do you identify this as fake too? So can you see what's on the, what's on the left? Just can you move your hand? Is this fake? Which one? What is the problem? Like, what is? Yeah, why are you moving away? Yeah, yeah, no, no. So I want you to first read it. I, I want read you to it. first read it. I read it. I read it. Okay, you read it. Okay. So. Do you know something called Ibn Isaq? So this is the Surat and Rasulullah translation of Ibn Isaq. It's a widely discredited book. Okay. So I read it from here. 
and the conclusion is going to be the verse which you just read was revealed to Muhammad, okay, half okay, of that verse which is not wait, in the Quran wait, wait. by if a Satan. If you've already read this book, I can see pen marks on this book. Yeah, I so if it. you've already read it, why can't you just tell me straight up why do I have to read it? I just made the point. Well, what's your because point? you are Muslim, I, I'm sure you would yeah, like to see the original sources. What's this isn't point? an original source. I want it to be quick. I'm trying to go. What's your point? So, the verse which you read from the Surah 53, here is the background of it. And according to this background, that is the verse, come down from the Satan to Muhammad. Half of the that verse is not in the Quran because it is the Satanic verses. This is BS. Yeah, that's, that, sorry, that's the point. The, sorry, hello. Hey, this script, this book is widely discredited. By who? All Islamic scholars and theologians. By who? Give me names. I can I can check for names if you want. Yeah, because Ibn Ishaq is the one of the earliest one who wrote the biography of Muhammad. Ibn Hisham is the one who edited what Ibn Ishaq did. Yeah. So, can you give me something before that? Why? What's the point? To discredit this. So there are there are fifty historical there are fifty historical references yeah, yeah. tells Muhammad received the revelation from the Satan on Surah 53. Yeah. But that's not in Yusuf Ali's Quran. It's not that? The line which says their intercession is highly desired. Yeah. Why? Why? Because because angel steps in and then confronts Muhammad for receiving yeah. those verses. Yeah. So Muhammad received those verses. And it wasn't only that Muhammad bowed down and then worshipped those gods for until the news came to him. So the point I was trying to make is, if you are Muslim, I don't know if you are Muslim, that your prophet received verses from the Satan. Allegedly. Not allegedly. According to 50, allegedly. According to 50 historians. And the, the, the 300 even according to Tabari as well. The, sorry? The, sorry, who? According to histori uh, Tabari as well. Okay. What about the 350 that say differently? Who are those 350? There are plenty. Show me someone from within 300 years of Muhammad. You can Google it. I don't have. No, I don't know. Right. I am asking you. I don't since, since, since you are expert, you know all the scholars discredited. Yes. I am sure you will be able to find the reference no, no, easily. No, I'm not. I'm not an expert, but I know that this text is discredited. That's what I. By who? Many, many people. Why, who are those many people? Why, why would you have a problem if you are Muslim? Why would you have a problem if Muhammad had a revelation from Satan? Muhammad would never get a revelation from Satan. He never got a revelation? Never. How do you know? Because I know my prophet. How and do if you Satan know? came, then the angels will come and protect him. That's why. So in here, what angel, is this, what this is the biography of Muhammad. This is? Surat al Rasulullah. Ibn Isaac, Surat al Rasulullah. Do you know what Surat is? Sorry. Hi. Do you know what Surat is? So Sorry. biography of Muhammad. Hi. Can you hear me? Early, okay, acor listen, according to early biography of Muhammad, angel is confronting Muhammad that Gabriel came to Muhammad and then said, what have you done? I did not reveal those verses to you. Those verses Sorry. are known by Islamic question? tradition. Are they are the satanic verses. And Muhammad himself in other occasions expresses that he has a Satan. Sorry, can I ask a question? Hi, sorry. You don't, so what, what would be your problem? What's that? If this is true, what would be your problem? Would you have a I problem? I don't think that is true because I will follow the Quran, sorry. not sorry. things that other people are saying about the Quran. Sorry, okay. can I... If it was are in you, the Quran... Are you Quran only Muslim? Huh? Are you Quran only Muslim? Am I? Are you Quran only Muslim? Quran only Muslim. Yes. You are Quran only Muslim. Can I, can I ask you a question? Okay, answer your question first. What is Sirat? Biography of Muhammad. Yeah. Biography by whom? In this occasion, the one I am holding in my hand from yeah. Ibn Ishaq and Ibn Hisham. Yeah. So I believe I have answered you your have question. You, have you read every so, biography? So, am I right to think that you are Quran only Muslim, correct? Am I? You are Quran only Are you Sunni Muslim? Are you Shia Muslim? Are you Quran I only Muslim? I don't distinguish. I am a Muslim. Not Shia, not Sunni, not this, not that. I am a Muslim. So you follow? I don't believe in following Shia or Sunni. Okay. Or do you you follow Muslim. you follow the Quran? Yes, I do. You follow uh, Hadith? Not all the Hadith. There's weak Hadith and there's strong Hadith. Okay. Sorry, you you I follow the Quran. Okay. So you you follow the Quran. Do you think? Listen. Do you think? Do you think? Do you think? If you don't want to listen to him, then do you think? Ma'am, yes. do you think is it alright yes. husband to beat the wife?
do. Has to beat his wife. Do you no, think it's alright? Quran does not say husband can beat his wife. Quran does not say that. What about Surah 4 verse 34? What does he say? You don't want to see? How do you know if you don't want to see? I think I think that is problem by itself. Person who identified herself as a Quran only Muslim knows Quran doesn't say husband with the wife, but doesn't even wait to say actually what really Quran says. And according to Quran, yes, they can beat. But on the satanic verses, biography of Muhammad tells us Muhammad received those verses from the Satan. Tabari tells us Muhammad received those verses from Satan. Fifty historians tell us Muhammad received those verses from the Satan. It's not only he received, but he also bowed down and worshipped them. Bowed down and then worshipped those pagan gods. That's the god. That's the prophet of Islam. That is the prophet of Muslims. Keep away, keep away from them. Yes, sir.